Now, this is actually a, uh, a dressing for steak. It's a steak dressing, but um, this... <laughs> Hi, this is Mark and Steve from iloveweightloss.co.uk, the place to be if you want to lose fat, increase your muscle tone. Today I'm going to answer the question um, posed by Joan, which is, if I'm not supposed to eat gluten, then what can I eat? So you've probably heard about gluten and that it's not very good for you. Um, you might even actually experience bloating when you do eat gluten, so things like pasta, or you might even be more severe where you um, get swollen joints. Um, or actually get very, very foggy, uh, a very foggy brain when you do eat gluten. But the question is, what can you eat if you're not supposed to eat gluten? What I thought we'd do first is show a few foods that a lot of people don't kind of realize actually contain gluten, um, and then we'll give you some different options instead of these foods. So one of the first things, I'll grab that, is soy sauce. It's, a lot of people don't realize that this actually contains gluten, so they kind of chuck it on their foods and don't realize that it does contain gluten. I'll hide the, uh, the make because obviously we're not promoting any brands, uh, we're like the BBC. Um, but soy sauce, you can buy gluten-free soy sauce, um, and you want to do that because, like I say, the average soy sauce contains gluten. Now, this is actually a, uh, a dressing for steak. It's a steak dressing. But um, this, these sorts of things often can contain gluten uh, wheat products that you don't actually realize. You can get versions of these sorts of things that are gluten free. Um, so I suggest going for those. But just be aware of these are just things that you rub on meat, for example. So whilst you may be thinking, oh, I'm being really healthy, having meat and putting some spices on top, just be aware of everything that's in the actual ingredients. And you can get gluten free You can easy. get gluten free very easily. Now this um, is pasta. Uh, and or spaghetti, sorry, and it's pretty obvious, or uh, not obvious, but a lot of people realise that that contains gluten um, and isn't that healthy for you. Quickly, Steve will explain why gluten isn't the best thing for you. Well, a large uh, majority of the population, I think it's actually, they um, say about 75% of the population are what's called gluten intolerant. So that every time you're having gluten containing foods, you're um, increasing the amount of inflammation in your body, which increases hormones like cortisol and things like that. But Basically, the end product is it encourages your body to store body fat. It can also um, cause things like achy joints, sore knees, um, and like Mark said, poor brain function so that you're not able to think as clearly as possible. But fat loss wise, it can really, really halt um, fat loss. And I've actually experienced this where people have taken out foods that they're actually intolerant to, particularly something like gluten, and then fat loss, which has previously stalled, just really kind of accelerates because they're not having those foods that create that inflammation in their body. A quick side note is that um, some latest research shows that um, children that are suffering from ADHD or ADD take, that take out um, gluten containing foods actually reduce their symptoms. They uh, are a lot better uh, at handling situations than they would be if they're having lots of gluten containing foods. It seems to have had a, a positive effect on their um, cognitive function, being able to concentrate and things like that. I also wanted just to make the point that just by going gluten free unfortunately doesn't obviously mean that you're going to lose fat and um, lose weight if you're replacing them with other refined foods. So you get gluten free. Now this, you can get the spaghetti actually in gluten free as well. But if you see it's white, it's very refined, it would be gluten free, but it's the same situation in terms of it's very refined. So that's not going to be that great for fat loss. So um, just be aware that just by going um, to the same food that says it's gluten free because all the manufacturers do is take out the gluten and replace it with sometimes sugar or very often times sugar um, that could have a detrimental effect so you're far better to replace um, gluten containing foods you know the pasta spaghetti all that kind of stuff with natural products like sweet potato here and I mean it's pretty obvious that this is pretty much just taken out of the ground it's not refined it's not manufactured it's grown and then taken out so it's natural it doesn't contain gluten because it um, naturally doesn't but it's just um, far better for you and far better for fat loss than refined manufactured products so we've found that people that actually just replace the uh, processed carbohydrates like Mark, Mark says with natural um, forms of carbohydrates such as sweet potato quinoa and things like that that they automatically will lose body fat straight away because they're not creating that inflammation in their body and it's far far superior for fat loss so not only is it gluten free, but it's a lot better for your body in terms of insulin production, all the other hormone production. It's a lot better for fat loss 
Um, so you're kind of killing two birds with one stone, you're going to be losing fat, but also you're going gluten free. So everything else um, that's affected by gluten, like Stephen says, the joints, your brain, your cognitive function are going to improve as well. And actually one good test you can do just to prove that we're actually talking sense here is have one meal where you're having a bowl of uh, normal pasta, white pasta, see how you feel maybe an hour, two hours later, then note, note, note it down how you're feeling, then a day or two later have another meal where you're just having say a sweet potato as your form of carbohydrate in that meal and then note down an hour or two later. I can guarantee that you'll feel a lot more energetic, a lot healthier, a lot less bloated when you're having the sweet potato. But do the test just to prove me uh, wrong or right. So, once again, we'd love to hear from you. Are you going gluten-free now? And do you notice differences in your body when you eat gluten? Comment in the box below and we'd love to hear from you. This is Stephen Mark from iloveweightloss.co.uk. Today I'm going to answer the question um, posed by Joan, which is, if I'm not supposed to eat gluten, then what can I eat? Now, this is actually a, uh, a dressing for steak. It's a steak dressing. But um, this, these sorts of things often can...